They, he did stop. He pulled over. Looks like he's slowing down there. They're getting closer to him. You see him right there. They've got him pulled over. He stopped. And maybe he didn't even. Maybe he wasn't even aware that he was being chased. But who knows? It's a it's a good possibility. Now it looks like he stopped. Officers are now going to deploy on him. Now this is the opportunity for them not to let him continue, Carlos. This is where where we don't want to see this guy just take off again. And uh, that has happened many many times. Um, Carlos, you mentioned that you didn't know for sure if the the driver knew if he was being followed. He went quite a ways to to not know that you have a a helicopter overhead with lights and police cars behind you. All, all depends on his state of mind. I mean, if he's if he's impaired, he may not be aware of a lot of things, but. There he is. He's sticking his arms out the window. And uh, tell us what they're doing right now on the loudspeaker. Okay, right now they're at Havenhurst and Parthenia. They've got him stopped. They're, they're on the loudspeakers right now telling him to stop his, his uh, turn his motor off, throw the keys outside the car, and then try to get him to comply with those basic orders. Once they get that minimal compliance, they now know that they, they can start to move forward. They're going to give him commands followed by the, by the command, do it now. Uh, you can see his door is opening, so they're, they are making progress with him. Now it uh, looks like he's hesitating a little bit, but again, uh, they are getting compliance from him. He's now looks like he's getting out of the car. Oh, uh, he forgot oh, to put wow. the car in park. Oh, no. Let's hope that car Which doesn't does, go too far. It does happen. Okay, now, yeah, the car is starting to ghost, and again, uh, they're going to have to just, uh, you know, let, it may just ghost to a stop there on the, uh, on the, uh, on the curb, but they're going to take this suspect right now, get him in custody as soon as they can. It looks like that car is ghosted right up against the, uh, uh, the curb, luckily for them, get yeah. him down in the street. He's complying, and now you, they, they want to get over to that car as quickly as they can and see if they can get it in park and get it so that it's not going to be a danger to anybody. Well, they're waiting for a little bit. Uh, it, usually by the time they're on the ground, they're all over him. But what, why are they waiting, do you think? Well, you know, this is an unusual situation. Uh, you don't know that, that there's not somebody else in that car. Mm -hmm. uh, the, the car is stopped right now, so they've got uh, two areas that their attention is being drawn to. Uh, and, again, uh, the officers, it, it is a little bit lengthy. I don't know why they aren't right out there taking him into custody, but, but they've they, got a they, team working the sidewalk there that's approaching the vehicle now. And they calmly moved in, so it appears n no threat to the officers there. Now, you use the word ghost. Is that police terminology? Yeah, that's a term we use uh, when there's a driverless car, and it's just uh, just ghosting literally down the street. And uh, it, it, as long as it's kind of you know pointed toward the curb, the wheels, if they come in contact with the curb, the friction will stop that car itself, as long as there's no one else in that car that's applying any, uh, any, any yeah. pressure to the accelerator. Looks like so, it hit yeah. that curb, and there they are Slowed all over that. So I, I would have to say from looking at this, we probably did have a drunk driver. He's in custody. I don't believe there were any accidents involved in this uh, pursuit right now, and uh, it all came to a, to a nice conclusion, if you can call it that, in the West Valley just prior to the rain. Jim Holcomb, thanks very much for that. Appreciate the report. It all ends there. And we'll be right back.